I've been cleaning since morning so as you can see there's less chaos and yeah you know what's weird I've had these mint bed sheets since freshman year I play, make it back in one piece. I And the reasons I did not like this eyeliner in particular, first, the color is not lasting. But when you actually put it on your eye, it dries halfway through. I don't like how it fades that quickly at all, so I would never purchase this again. This is the NYX Felt Tip Liner. So first of all, this tip isn't very ideal. It literally looks like a Sharpie tip. The color is pretty bad. Like I said, the same issue I had with this one, the color dries out and fades away really, really quickly. So these both suck just as equally and have the same issues. The only thing is I do like the tip of this. I feel like it's easier for making winged. This one, the tip kind of just tugs at your eyes a lot. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil Crayon. And what I love about this, it has a little spoolie brush. So my hair is kind of just like go all over the place. So I can just brush it out like this. And just kind of neatly comb all my eyebrows into place I'm actually wearing this right now on my eyebrows and then on the other side uh, you have the crayon and you can just kind of like fill them in as you desire I like focus on filling it in like this like here like towards here and I like to let my sparse hairs right here just kind of stay natural because they're still growing and stuff there was so much hype about this palette but it did not meet my standards at all, and it is the Nudes by Maybelline palette. When I saw the colors, I was like, perfect, you know, I like smoky browns and golds, you know, and those colors look really good with dark brown eyes, and I was just like, perfect, I finally found something that's good, you know, like the colors are really pretty. I agree, the colors look pretty, but the problem is these colors, do you see, they're not very... Um, what can I say? They're not very uh, bold and bright. They don't stay on your um, eyes long. So the colors don't have a good consistency at all. They fade really quickly. Also, when you apply this on your eyes, the fallout is really horrible. It falls everywhere and it gets really messy. First off, the packaging is absolutely the worst. As you can see, it's very cheap. Oh yeah, and did I mention the lipstick got stuck? Yeah, because the packaging is really bad and cheap, like cheaply manufactured. So my lipstick, after having it for a week, like it just got stuck. So it's stuck in there. So the packaging is pretty bad. It, it wasn't a very like wow lipstick. Like it was just eh, honestly, like the way it felt and like just the color, like it was just very meh. I wasn't really impressed. So I would never buy the NYX Butter lipstick, most likely. I just really wasn't impressed with the color and the packaging at all. I think that this is way better than the Butter lipstick. The shade that I got is Cranberry Biscotti. And guys, like when they say butter gloss, they literally mean it. Um, I've tried a lot of lip glosses and they always dry my lips out. They get really chapped and stuff, but this gloss like moisturizes your lips so amazingly and it's just a beautiful shade. And yeah, I just love it. So yeah, that's the end of my drugstore hits and misses. Things that I loved buying and things I regretted buying. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Bye. We ain't got no time. That's why.